Hey, what is going on, guys? It's your boy D1 Snipes here <clears throat> today. Uh, what I want to talk about is uh, buying materials uh, from either the Crucible Quartermaster or the Vanguard Quartermaster. Now, uh, when I first <clears throat> looked at this, I thought this was awesome. I was like, okay, sweet. I don't have to spend the time to go run around the map and uh, find all these materials and all this shit. Uh, thank god I was so over that that was all I did or that's what it felt like I did like a quarter of the time that I played destiny I was running around getting spirit bloom spin metal uh, relic iron <clears throat> or the uh, helium filaments and then I kinda thought about it I was like 10 marks 10 crucible marks or 10 vanguard marks for 20 20 material okay that's really not that bad. I have all this stuff built up over time. I don't use my Vanguard marks for anything. I don't use my Crucible marks for anything. Um, so what's the point? Uh, you know, what's the point in going out and looking for this stuff? Uh, the gameplay that you're watching right now is uh, obviously sped up. Uh, the left side is me uh, farming 20, uh, actually 21 Relic Iron, going to the tower, and then uh, buying 20 relic iron uh, just did that for time's sake you'll see why at the end of that video and then on the right is uh, the fastest way that I know how to get uh, at least 10 uh, vanguard marks uh, you may be able to do this quicker in crucible I think it took me about 22 minutes uh, the one on the right sped up by a little over three times the one on the left is sped up at about 2.4 I think um, and what I found out is uh, just farming this relic iron, uh, farming the relic iron is the fastest one, uh, material run that I know, but at the same time I got two of the fastest uh, strikes I think. I got, uh, this is back to back in the Vanguard uh, Tiger Strike playlist so you actually get 12 Vanguard marks, but I was doing it uh, for one set, one set of materials. Uh, which way could you do it the fastest and I found out that just farming them straight up took about 10 minutes less time uh, I got like I said I got the, the Mars strike and uh, Venus uh, the Nexus so really these really didn't take that long to do but at the same time if you're looking to get materials the fastest way possible uh, I think it's clearly to just straight up farm them and with the new DLC coming out, uh, possible new armor that you may need Vanguard marks for, I honestly don't see material being worth the worth the time. So if you break that down to about uh, 22 minutes, uh, just round that to 20, uh, makes it an easy number. Um, took me about 20 minutes and two strikes. Uh, to get that 20 uh, relic iron that I bought but it only took me about 11 to 12 minutes just straight up farming it um, if you've got a run or even if you don't know a run uh, these are found all over YouTube uh, I just don't see the value honestly I mean I I was lazy and I did it and then I kinda looked at it and I was like wow this this can't be right this can't be uh, cost effective um, I'm, I'm just wasting my time really by uh, doing all of these strikes and then I mean yeah you can do the tiger strikes super easy and it gets you XP but it's honestly very very little XP let's be honest and and I ran through these strikes uh, to be completely honest I ran through as many enemies as possible as you'll see like on both of these strikes it's kinda ridiculous <clears throat> but I just wanted to point out to you guys that it's with the new DLC coming out uh, with the possibility of you having to buy new armor to get to level t uh, 31 uh, maybe even 32 it really depends on how they do that uh, nobody knows 100 percent right now um, but even in all these strikes, uh, you guys may be arguing uh, you don't have good enough weapons, uh, you weren't running through it fast enough. 
I had a fully upgraded uh, icebreaker vision of confluence and the admonisher I think is what it's called all 300 level weapons uh, I'm a level 30 there's really nothing that I could have done a whole lot faster to be completely honest had I done it fa okay say you can shave four minutes off you're still a good five to six minutes behind just the straight up farming and uh, to me it's a waste of time uh, and it's a waste of marks that you may need soon either crucible or vanguard marks who knows but uh, you may need those and I don't think that you should spend them on the materials to be completely honest uh, I've farmed the shit out of materials recently and after you have your runs down uh, they can be pretty consistent uh, give or take a couple minutes but I would rather have give or take a couple minutes rather than uh, possibly disconnect from a strike uh, say you do that most of that strike get disconnected oh shit you're out all of your marks uh, you're no closer to getting your material and you didn't even get the XP but if you disconnect uh, while you're farming material okay you only got 11 reconnect go right back to where your, your run was and there you go you're right back to farming so I don't know it just doesn't seem like it's worth it to me um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh, are the crucible marks and the vanguard marks worth the 20 material or does this video show I, I mean to me it's it's pretty obvious but is is farming do you hate it that much uh, is it really are you that far against it as to just save yourself some time and the marks possibly for some armor later on um, if you guys like this video uh, if you want to see more stuff like this um, especially with the new DLC coming out I'll be happy to do stuff um, like I said let me know what you guys think is it cost effective is it time effective uh, I'd really like to hear what you guys have been doing or what you have done or if this is a surprise uh, if this is new to you leave a like um, I really appreciate you guys watching I'll catch you on the next one peace